Hi, this is Ilma Art Studio Photograph for today. And this is uh, the facade of a house of one of my uh, friends from the church. Um, it is a very nice property and they have so much trees surrounding them. And this is the front yard and they have so much beautiful flowers there as well. Thank you. Check my website at www.ilmaarts.com um, today I'd like to share with you uh, the verse from Galatians 6 verse 3 which says if you think you are too important to help someone you are only fooling yourself you are not that important and here's the poem that I wrote regarding the verse in uh, pride impedes kindness do you discriminate people who need your help? Is there a condition you expect before you make a step? If you think you are too important to aid someone, remember that Jesus humbled himself and never judged anyone. Any form of bias is a symptom of a proud heart. Haughtiness opens a grip for the enemy to lurk. Treat others equally so you won't reap inequality. Throw pride away and be willing to embrace humility. And here's the essay part of the devotional. Do you have favoritism? Do you treat people equally? Do you have a criteria or condition before you help someone? How would you feel if you are unfairly treated? These questions are ways to check your pride. Arrogance could masquerade in impatience, irritability, judgment, presumption, or thinking highly of oneself. Bible tells us that if you have biases on who to help, then you are fooling yourself. Paul, the Apostle Paul stresses that no one can claim that we are more important than anyone else. Even Jesus himself took a humble stance on all his relationships with his disciples and the public. He chose to be a servant rather than be served. He helped especially those who are marginalized. Prayer. Lord, show me any signs of pride in me. Reflection. Reflect on how pride slowly creeps on you. And that's the end of the essay in the Palm Devotional. Um, just like a little testimony on that or um, uh, to expound on the, the verse that has to do with pride and thinking highly of oneself. Uh, when I am faced with people who want my help. I sometimes have a problem with um, the sense of smell, like especially when beggars come to me when I was still in the Philippines, they, they're all over the place. And not that I'm discriminating them, but I have a nose disorder. Um, I didn't know that there was such a thing, but I read through it on, on Google and there's such a thing as parosmia and panthosmia, but I think it had something to do also with my trauma as a child because uh, I remember when I was nine years old, we almost had a big fire. So I was, I'm like, I know most women are very sensitive to smell, but I think mine is heightened 10 times more than anybody else's. So whenever I want to help beggars or people on the street, um, I not I don't discriminate them I want to help them but it's just like I am so afraid to suffer from the from the in a, uh, from from the my sensitive my oversensitivity to smell so in in a way that's one way I don't I don't think I'm discriminating in my mind or in my heart but also I choose my comfort my comfort in doing that because 
I don't want to feel uncomfortable to help these people. So I couldn't, I could not even see myself as like what Mother Teresa is doing, going to India and going through the people who are sick and being with them and even those people who are really sick with gangrene and all kinds of stuff and all smelly stuff. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm sure God anoints me in different things. But that is what is Paul is telling us in this uh, verse from the Bible that you that we ought not to even uh, discriminate anybody in terms of um, helping that we don't help because we want to gain something or we want to gain points from heaven but we help because we love to help and we love God and we want to serve God and we want to serve others when when we do love God so um, and and and, and, and as my poem said, like pride could facade itself in so many ways. It could even be like when somebody, when you're impatient, like somebody doesn't understand what you're saying and you're impatient. So, and, and, and you get impatient because why can't they understand me? And that's a form of pride and that's a form of discrimination because um, you are actually making other people the way you are and they, they are all different so um, I'd like to caution you on watching how pride manifests in your mind in your heart in your actions because um, God cautions us not to get into it because he tells us that we are not really important if we think that we are more important than somebody else then he he actually puts it that back to us that we're not important so with that, we end this uh, poem devotional, and I hope you will check my website at ilmaarts.com. And please check for my book uh, on blurb.com. It's B-L-U-R-B.com. And just type uh, on the bookstore, pay, uh, bookstore page, uh, just type my title, My Love Affair with Orangeville, and you will see the 140 pages book that I just published last week. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.